Halo halo guys, kembali bersama saya saya Dragolsio. Pada konten kali ini saya akan mereview pemain terjangkung atau tertinggi dan pemain terpendek di eFootball Mobile League. Oke. Okay. Oke, saya akan mencoba untuk melihat terlebih dahulu pemain terpendek Nakagawa yang mana tingginya 155 dengan usia 28 ya. Dan ini dia pemain tertinggi di eFootball Mobile League, Hatlin yang mana tingginya 206. 2 meter ya sama 1,55 meter gila ini pemain terpendek dan terjangkung di eFootball Mobile League kombinasi ya di pusing divisi satu oke langsung saja tuh gameplaynya simak video berikut ini everybody has come here in their droves this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it and it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too the atmosphere is amicable goes in for the head Teams surprise themselves with early goals before and sit back. They've got to avoid that. Terrific header. He met that with a plum. Well, when you get service like that into the box, you can't go wrong. I doubt very much that this was in the script. And it's De Bruyne. Mohamed Salah receives it in a wide position. Stands up to it well and emerges with the ball. Chance to break. Mount. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Well, that was a period of possession which carried just about no threat at all. Oh, that's a key interception. De Bruyne. Spread out to the left. Oh, that's a fair and he shoots. They scored. So that's two now without reply. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Now that's been intercepted. Deco. is coming off in quick succession here Gonzalo Ramos and the counter is on Kostic has it out wide and in space it's all a little bit desperate but it's got the job done you know it was an intervention that had to be made serious trouble lay in store tries a shot and Deco was no routine save oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp interesting ball oh it's die hard defense and the willingness to put his body on the line very impressive and it's played forward Jao Cancelo spots it and intercepts. Jao Cancelo, it's a pretty loose pass. Kostic, Kostic goes hurtling down that left hand side. Alexander Arnold did just about enough there to come out on top there. Time. The party overly willing to compromise. Two goal place. margin, yes, but all things still possible. There's the start of the second half. It's intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Jao Cancelo cuts it out. Casemiro. Kostic will set up two goals. Throw it. Good spot, he's seen the run. And a header! And it's there! And they are pulling clear here. Indeed, a fine, fine header. Well, I don't think he could have asked for a better ball in there, Peter. All he had to do was get in position.
Okay, temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods, it surely must be. Well this really is a great venue, it adds so much character to every game it stages. The action has already started. Well seen, saw that coming. Defenders on the back foot. The danger is cut out. Messi. It's a good spell of possession, this. Oh, that's well spotted. And it's Messi. Chalanolu. It's Chalanolu! He's done very well to get thwarted by brilliance. Gets his head to it! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The Ligt really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Di Maria. Either side yet able to find the net. Well, that had the makings of something quite promising, but it's fizzled out into nothing. Di Maria. Swung up. Header! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. A dribble, cross and attempt. All too easy. The press is doing its job and possession has been lost. Played out towards the right wing. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Goes in for the header! You can see Flan win the ball and then unleash. Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Over to the left. He's shifting through the gears here. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. The licks. Now it's Kostic. He's got away. Well read, and the danger is averted. And that has left him in a heap. Kimmich does well to stand firm and defend it. Osimen. It's all a little bit desperate, but it's got the job done. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. He's massively... They've scored! And again, they simply do not know what has hit them. With, with great stealth and a ghost-like arrival to get his head to the ball. Oke itu dia review dari pemain terjangkung atau tertinggi dan terpendek di eFootball Mobile League. Dari dua pertandingan tadi, tim lawan kabur duluan ya. Oke langsung saja kalian uh, bisa milih pemain tertinggi ini di area atau klub Eropa. Kalian klik Eropa pemain tertinggi ya. Terus kalian pilih Liga 2 Inggris ya. Liga Divisi 2 Inggris. Terus kalian pilih tim Huddersfield. Ya Liga 2 Inggris pilih Huddersfield. BW itu ya. Terus kalian klik posisi CF atau striker CF ya center forward terus kalian pilih hardline ini dia ya. tingginya 206 cm 2 meter gila ini kalian kalau memakai crossing crossing pakai ini oke untuk yang e, pemain terpendek kalian pilih bisa pilih di klub Asia terus Meiji ya sudah jelik 2 atau Liga 2 nya Jepang terus kalian pilih Oita Trinita ini ya Oita Trinita terus kalian selesai aja dulu 
kalian pilih yang namanya Nagakawa. Nagakawa ya. Haji Nagakawa. <laughs> Dengan tinggi 155 cm. Oke, okay? itu dia ya. E, kalian bisa memilih pemain kedua ini di Liga 1, uh, Liga 2 Inggris dan Liga 2 Jepang. Oke, okay? cukup sekian. Jangan lupa like, comment, dan subscribe.